Okay, I think it's working. Um, hello everybody, this is Insanity Game Jam 2014. Um, I am building a uh, game for uh, the Insanity Game Jam 2014. I'm calling it Subspace Psychosis. And this uh, game is um, a very... It's an experimental game where you wrestle loneliness until you run out of funds. Uh, so it's, I guess it's an experimental game where you just are lonely until you run out of money, and then that's the end of the game. I don't actually have the game mechanics implemented yet, but uh, the logic isn't nearly as difficult as generating the assets, and I think I'm mostly finished with the assets, uh, which brings us well on well on the way to uh finishing up before the uh deadline on april first first uh fourth it's just the third right now so um i'll show you what i have so far we'll push spacebar and welcome to exposition mode interstellar date 9 11 66 galactic class merchant vessel hlv stoic it's my spaceship destination gamma quadrant deep space outpost ms994 Estimated time of arrival, 2.5 million years from current date. Crew, 95, in cryo cryogenic stasis. All systems green condition. But wait. Error, cryostasis unmaintainable in cryopod 9. Defrosting. I'm going to make a cool noise here. And it would also ding when it's done, of course. Uh, push the space bar. Get on with the uh, game. Are we here already? Yeah. Wait a second. Where's everybody else? What day is it? It is ID 911-666-694-2180-42. What? No! That means I'm awake more than a million years early. You are awake precisely two and a half million years prior to anticipated arrival. Okay, then put me back into cryostasis. Your cryo chamber is not functional. There are no spares. Oh no, what am I going to do? For starters, press space to continue. So, now, well, in a couple seconds, now you actually have control of the character your cryo chamber. There's our friendly robot, best friend. He probably won't be here in the actual production version of the game. I don't think he should be here until you actually buy one. Um, they, like the robots, are pretty simple. They'll follow you around. If they get close enough, they'll stop. And they'll always try to rotate to face you, no matter where you are. Um, every major room in the ship has a computer. This is one of them. It'll have uh, something on the screen. You can walk up to it. When you push spacebar, it'll um, it'll put the camera behind your head and sort of face at the screen. And then uh, you know every every computer will have uh, different options for you to uh, to choose from. Like most of them, pretty much all of them will let you access the internet, so you can still. Uh, purchase more robots, but like this one is the uh, cryogenic chamber for a uh, cryogenic chamber computer. And uh, if you tried to work with it, um, well, you could try to fix your, um, you could try to fix your cryo chamber, but it probably wouldn't work. It would definitely not work. Otherwise the game wouldn't be fun. So um, we can move on to the next room. The robots seem to ignore most of the, uh, furniture colliders, so like they just ride right through furniture, but they know better than to go through walls, so they don't usually do that. Here is the bridge of the spaceship. Of course, it has a giant computer inside of it as well. The, uh, the big old computer screens are basically always facing you, no matter where you happen to be. Um, trying to get him to walk. Okay, so you can walk through that. Anyway, um, so the bridge computer, you might try to um, change the navigation system, or you might try to do uh, 
Well, you might try to do anything to get yourself out of the pickle you're in, because it's you've got you know two and a half million years to kill uh, before you go insane. Um, it's not on the. Uh, it's not currently implemented yet, but there will be a um, a meter on the side, like a, a vertical bar, that'll represent your sanity. And it will, of course, always be uh, constantly draining. And if you're close to a robot, the draining will slow down. If you're close to more than one robot, it'll slow down a lot. Um, but only only working robots can slow it down. So, and um, see the uh, if you can see the antenna on the top of the robot here, I'm going to put a, a particle effect there. So it'll be blinking green when the robot's working. When the robot's working, he'll follow you around. Um, of course, it'll say uh, friendly, encouraging things to you like uh, "I love you" or uh, "I want to have your babies" or something like that. It'll just be it'll be, it'll be obnoxious. They'll beep and boop and uh, be awful. Um, and when uh, when they break, I'll put a, a red uh, red particle effect on the top of the antenna, and it'll emit some smoke from it. And you have to pay money, of course. Because um, you have money too, there'll be a little counter maybe in the bottom right corner that'll have your uh, life savings in it, and you can spend your whole life savings uh, wrestling with loneliness until you run out of funds. And this is the uh, communications area, so you can try to communicate with distant planets, but um, nobody's home except for the uh, the order by teleportation. So you can order more robots, of course, and you can order parts for your robots. And that's the communications array. Like a little robot pal moves a little slower than we do, but he'll figure it out. He'll he'll get here eventually. Um, we're going to the teleportation room, and uh, when you order new robots uh, to be your friend, they will arrive in the uh, teleportation room, and you have to go. Uh, I'm not certain if you have to go and activate them yet or not. I think that would be kind of fun. So every time you order one, you have to walk back to this room and turn them on so they can follow you. So they would they would warp in right here. Now I, I want to build uh, some assets. Uh, of course, the teleportation room has its own computer to control teleports and stuff. Uh, maybe that breaks and you have to pay to repair it too. Who knows? Uh, there isn't... Uh, I haven't really thought of a mechanic to generate money. Um, but at the same time, uh, the whole purpose of the game, or at least the whole purpose of the, the theme of the game, is to uh, run out of money. So, like, that's that's the uh, the end game, the end condition, is running out of the out of the cash. Uh, I'm gonna stop for a second and see how far we got. Um, that's almost almost 10 minutes. Uh, we'll go look in uh, engineering. There's only there's only five rooms on the ship, really. There's the cryo chamber, the bridge, the communications, uh, the teleporter room, and engineering. And we're almost to engineering. And there'll probably be I haven't built any of this yet, but there'll probably be a big uh, big old space uh, spaceship engine right here, or warp core, or something. And uh, over over here is the engineering computer. Uh, basically, I'd like to make a shuttle bay here, and maybe maybe you can take a shuttle into the abyss of space and starve to death if you don't feel like uh, going insane on the actual ship. And our robot finally arrived. And um, I think I'll make this a 10-minute uh, video or so. And we'll go ahead and find the robot. We'll duplicate the robot. Because you're supposed to have more than one. Like, ultimately, like, you really ought to have, uh, three, four, five. You ought to have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think twelve is a good deal of robots. There we go. So, the robots will follow you. They'll chirp and chitter and, and boop and beep and do all the stuff that robots do. Um... I mean, they're, they're your best friend, of course. Like, that's a uh, robot best friend. And they'll follow you around, and then if you stand still, they'll kind of mass around you a little bit. They'll try to force each other out of the way. And now you have your own robot congregation. Um, I haven't put any uh, physics, uh, collision physics on them, because I didn't... Well, I haven't really figured it out. I haven't figured that part out. Getting them to navigate uh, 
smoothly was a big enough pain in the ass. So, but uh, that's pretty much what we've got for uh, subspace psychosis, uh, robot best friend. And uh, I hope uh, I hope you play my game once uh, once I finish. Thanks. Thanks for watching.